Well, hello there, folks. This is Lyage, and uh, welcome to a video for Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. It has been quite a while since I last posted a video on this channel, but with Sunbreak right around the corner, I figured it was time to get back into the swing of things. So today, I'm bringing you some gameplay from the Sunbreak demo that dropped a few days ago. I didn't exactly plan on making this particular video initially, but after messing around with and uh, mostly getting my butt kicked by Malzano for a bit, I ended up actually beating the fights, which was uh, not something I was expecting. Now I'm not saying I did the best job on the fights, I know some people have already been clearing at sub 10 minutes and even lower, but I thought this would be a good opportunity just to upload my hunt and give some commentary on the fight itself as well as some of the things I learned from my attempts. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and get started. For my weapon of choice, I'm going with a lance here. I tried out the fight with a handful of different weapons, and if I strictly wanted the best possible time, I'm sure there are better options. However, I'm not exaggerating when I say this fight is absolutely terrifying. After nearly getting multiple heart attacks from one shots out of nowhere, I honestly just wanted a strong shield to hide behind. Even though I really hate playing shield weapons with no guard skill, I was able to make heavy use of the anchor rage skill to completely absorb large attacks while also keeping my damage output high. In an attempt to gain any advantage I could, I am preparing for the fight by grabbing a mount to start things off with. You can see that I had grabbed one of the ruby wire bugs that are new in Sunbreak. These are essentially a temporary buff that makes the mounted punisher of a wyvern ride more powerful. I'm uh, unsure how much of a buff this is, but any extra damage does help. So I start things off with the cool new Skyward Thrust move for the Lance. This is the only time I end up using it because I would want Anchor Rage available for the rest of the fights, but I, I just decided to use it once for fun. I could see this move being pretty fun against monsters that do a lot of flying, so I'll need to test it out in the full game. When blocking Malzano's attacks normally, you can see me losing quite a bit of health. This is why I want to use Anchor Rage to block the large hits whenever possible. Also, whenever possible, I will take the opportunity to try to heal to full. With the tuning Malzano has in the demo, it is very easy to get one shot by many moves if your health isn't maxed out. And now it's showtime. Once Malzano enters this powered up blood mode, the true fight begins. 
The obvious change to the battle comes with his new ability to teleport directly on top of you, which can be quite terrifying. When it comes to learning his patterns, however, the big thing to note in this mode is that Malzano will perform many of his signature attacks twice. In my particular case, this would mean if I countered one of his big attacks, I would immediately get hit on the follow-up. To handle this, I would block the first hit and then counter the second one with Anchor Rage, which ended up working pretty well. Even though Malzano's blood mode is really scary, the fight really encourages you to keep up the aggression during this time. You will notice that I deal substantially more damage to the glowing areas during this mode, and we will need to keep attacking in order to knock him out of the state. Knocking Malzano out of the blood state is actually quite important, because if you wait too long, he will perform a really scary finisher. You won't see it in this hunt, or probably most other clear videos, because if you let it get to that point, things are probably not going well. It seems I ended up getting a bit turned around here, which is not ideal for finishing this hunt on time. We are now seeing something interesting that I had not actually seen before this point. It appears that Malzano is commanding his leech creatures to suck the blood of this poor Rhinophilos. This essentially allows him to go into an instant blood state. Let's take a minute to briefly talk about Malzino's unique debuff, Blood Blight. I don't end up getting to experience its effects properly during this hunt, because on most attempts where I got it, I would be dead soon after. However, I do think it's a real cool mechanic. Essentially, the debuff makes your healing items far weaker, while also doing a little bit of damage over time to you. However, on the flip side, you will also heal while you attack the monster, which further encourages you to be aggressive while fighting Malzano, reinforcing the intended playstyle for the fight. I do wonder if they will do something similar to like what they did with Magnamalo and give Malzano's armor a self-inflicting blood blight skill. I do think it could lead to some really interesting builds.
ないわよ。So the moment I saw the blue skull icon, I started panicking. Once I knew I had barely any time left, I felt like I was going to be so close but not quite make it. Once I became conscious of this, I lost a lot of confidence and started taking some bad hits and then got put on the defensive. Thinking that I had just a handful of seconds left, I figured I was definitely gonna time out, but I decided I should keep up the offense until the very end. And there we have it. I obviously could have played much better, but I was pretty excited just to get a win, as you can see here. Aww, yeah. So the game didn't give me an official time, but judging by the length of my recording, I had just under 10 seconds left from the 15 minute mark. But that's gonna do it for this video, I hope you enjoyed. I am really excited for the Sunbreak expansion and definitely plan on making a bunch of cool videos on it soon. Concerning the demo, I have one particularly special video planned, so be on the lookout for it in the next couple of days. Of course, if you want to catch any upcoming videos, feel free to subscribe to my channel, but also go ahead and give my Twitch a follow if you want to see a lot of my early progress once Sunbreak drops. Anyways, for now, thank you all very much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.